Hey guys, today we are going to talk about the five best win conditions. So typically when people win, they deal 20 damage to the opponent, but there are other cards that allow you to win in different mechanics, either mill or just the card itself says you win the game. So today I'm gonna to present my top five. If you have a different top five or you think I'm missing one of these, uh, leave me a comment below. For number five, the cheese stands alone. I love this card. It is just so funny and so ridiculous to pull off. First of all, it costs six, right? So you need six to cast it. And if you control no cards other than Chi stands alone, and you won't have any cards in your hand, you win the game. That puts you at an extremely vulnerable position, right? So you have no other cards in your hand. You don't have any permanents, which includes uh, you land and that's tough and it's an enchantment so what are you going to do lots of different combinations that you can win the game with but all very risky next we have a card that actually sees some tear i would don't even want to say tear two i want to say like tear four tear four modern play and that's laboratory maniac two in a blue if you draw a card while your library has no cards, you win the game instead. I see this in EDH quite often. Uh, it definitely is one of the better combos uh, in the mill deck. And milling yourself is not as difficult as removing all your permanents slash your hand. I like the card a lot. It definitely has a ton of great combo pieces. And it sees some competitive play. Not tier 1, but close enough. Number three, Coalition Victory. I just love the flavor of the card. Um, if you grew up with the story, then this was a very, very relevant story to you where you know you need a white, a blue, a black, a red, a green, you cost eight, you win the game if you control a land of each basic type in a creature of each color. Very, very difficult to pull off, but it feels great when you do. In middle school, we had a player who only played this deck, and once every 50 games, he would pull it off, and it would be pretty cool. Coalition Victory, definitely a fun card and a piece of Magic the Gathering history, and that's why it's ranked this highly for me. Um, now, the next card, which is number two, I just want to say is probably one of the easier win cons. It is a 4-6 Vigilance Lifelink for 6, so it does have use if you're not winning a game. The win con is secondary, and that's what I feel like is a good card design. When a card is useful, but and it helps you reach your win condition, but the win condition is secondary. It's like a bonus. So at the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 40 or more life, you win the game. Life gain is getting a lot easier to do. Uh, a lot easier to do and you gain more larger chunks of life now for less mana so very fun now my favorite win condition is a door and the reason door is so fun in my opinion is when you play multiplayer and you're playing edh a lot of these cards will just be played in edh you can target player and that gives you so much it's like when you play Civilization and you win the game, but you still want to continue playing the game because it's a lot of fun because you like the negotiation, you like the power. Door is that card where you put, play it. If you can cast it, then you can influence the game quite a bit in multiplayer and the interactions that people will say, oh, you know, at any moment in time, I can tap it and then you lose the game. But then they can also redirect it. I've seen a lot of times that the door targets someone and it redirects back to you. And when I mean seen, I mean experienced. But door is still my favorite, especially in multiplayer because it just messes with the politics so much. Anyway, that's it. Leave me a comment below if you think I'm missing one or you think one is incorrectly ranked. Bye, guys.